Hi, I'm Sanjim Jumna. I'm a plastic surgery consultant from Yorkshire. And for this medicine, in a nutshell video for a career series, we're going to talk about radiography. And I can't think of a better way of doing that than to have a chat with a few radiographers to see what they have to say. Right, so guys, you're all radiographers or in radiography. And um, can you tell me what radiog what does a radiographer do? My name's Charlotte, I'm a radiographer and um, specifically a trainee advanced practitioner radiographer. So traditionally x -ray, uh, radiographers take x-rays, but it's, we're not just push, button pushers, that's not the only thing that we do. Um, we do quite a lot of things. We might work up in theatres, um, we have MRI, CT, ultrasound, um, and most of the patients that come through hospital will, will come for a some kind of diagnostic testing with us at some point during their stay. So Tamsin, you're wearing a different uniform. So um, you're you're a, some sort of special radiographer type mm -hmm. person. Uh, my job title is an assistant practitioner. Uh, basically, uh, I I do plain film X-rays, but I do have a limited scope of practice. I only actually did one year uh, at university. Prior to that, I was working as a, as a clinical support worker, and it was just a progression within within the trust that the, when it became available to do some extra training. So I now do, I have been qualified now for eight years, so I've actually, my scope of practice is actually probably on a, on a par now with, with actual radiographers. Fantastic. But, there you go. <laughs> Wonderful. And Rob? Uh, You're the only boy in the entire group. Are, are, are there less boys than girls in radiography? Uh, men rather than ladies is what I meant. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's slightly more women uh, than men in radiography. Um, I don't know the exact percentage, but I would imagine probably something like 70, 30 uh, towards women. Um, so what, what, how does one become a radiographer? So uh, every radiographer will spend three, year, three years at university. Uh, learning the basics of how x-rays are produced, x-rays are generated, how the x-ray machine behind us works, how it produces uh, the, uh, the x-rays in the, uh, the beam. Uh, we learn how to uh, create that x-ray beam, so we will give uh, different exposures, so we set different voltages and currents and time, depending on the body part that we're x-raying. Um, and we learn anatomy and physiology um, for all body parts, to pay particular attention to the bones and joints. Um, after those three years, as Charlotte mentioned, we can specialise in different areas. A lot of those areas require extra training. Um, so myself and, and Charlotte have spent a couple more years at university uh, training to become advanced practitioners. So we, uh, as well as taking the x-rays, we can write reports on what the x-rays say at the end of that as well. Fantastic. And and um, what 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 does one need to get into radiography as a uh, be a new university? What sort of grades and stuff? Or I uh, I'm Lindsay. I'm one of the uh, senior radiographers, um, and I was a mature student. So traditionally, it's your A levels that you uh, that's the traditional route into radiography. But I did an access to science and health course um, and gained. Um, I think I had to gain 24 credits in science modules, so um, physics and biology and things like that in preparation for the degree. So it's, it's quite a sciencey based subject, as Rob said, with the learning about the um, KV and MAS and a lot of physics how, involved. To, how to produce the x rays. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And Michelle, you you're you're also wearing something different. You're wearing blues, like you've been to theatre or something. So, are you a radiographer as well? Yeah, I work in interventional radiology. So we, rather than doing just diagnosis, we often treat as well. So in our intervention labs, we do cardiac interventions. So we unblock coronary arteries when people have had a heart attack. We put pacemakers in if people need um, help with the heart. We also do vascular interventions. So. If people are having trouble with their legs, we'll unblock, the, we'll unblock those as well to maintain quality of life. So we don't just diagnose, we also treat within radiology. 
So w would you guys say that radio, um, radiography and radiology as a whole is a, is a very much cutting edge sort of specialty now? Where, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're all nodding. Fantastic. There's, there's a lot of advances. Uh, yeah. just in, in the last few years alone, there's been so many advances in, in technology and especially like wireless technologies. We now, uh, I, I, I actually remember when I first started, we were, we were still wet processing yeah. film. And now with wireless, Bluetooth, instant images on screens. Uh, so I think it's come on a massive amount. We don't even print x-rays off anymore. They're now just linked electronically to um, people who have access to them um, all across the hospital. Transferred to different hospitals yeah. uh, via the internet. Um, the images back and times in train. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> those images could, yeah. could take three or four minutes to uh, to be printed, whereas we have them within 10 seconds now. Mm -hmm. So would you, would you guys recommend being a radiographer as a career choice for a person looking for Definitely. a healthcare profession? Definitely. I think it's a nice mixture of seeing a lot of different patients. We, um, unlike nurses, we don't tend to see this. We do sometimes see the same patients over again, but we're not with a certain set of patients for a, for a long period of time you're meeting. You know, you could meet 70 odd different people in a day and they've all got a different story to tell and they've all got a different background and it's really rewarding because you feel like you're helping them, you're helping them towards their diagnosis um, and there's a lot of scope for you yourself to develop as well um, in terms of communication yeah. and being a people person but also in your knowledge and skills like yeah. we're saying, me and Rob have done um, sort of postgraduate study and learned a lot of of new things and likewise even if you didn't do a formal um, postgraduate qualification this this we're obliged to do something called CPD continuing yeah. professional development and that means that you're constantly learning and yeah. going to lectures yeah. and, and, yeah. and learning all sorts of this is you know, it's really yeah. good we're not your just button pushers anymore are we? No. traditionally no. radio because we're just button pushers we got told what pictures to take and how to take them and that's what we did we now don't do that. We look at every request card that comes for every patient and decide if that's the correct thing to do for that patient and adapt if we don't think that's the right thing to help through the patient treatment journey. More, more and more, we're, rather than just being asked to do something where uh, we get something, we uh, decide if it is the right thing to do. If it is, then we do it. Uh, we frequently modify our technique and the way we do things. Uh, we recommend different uh, imaging modalities, for example, if a patient came with a certain condition we didn't think an x-ray uh, was the right thing to do, we would refer them to CT or ultrasound or MRI. All of those are within radiology and all of those are done by uh, are undertaken by radiographers. So we, we influence patient pathways a lot more. Um, we write reports, we, uh, we say where the patient should go next. We, don't normally take the x-rays and, and do the imaging, but we'll then refer them on to other specialists, to orthopedics and physiotherapists and things like that. Uh, so we're, rather than being very pres prescriptive in what we used to do, we're, we're sending people out and being and influencing patient pathways. Brilliant. Thank you so much, guys. I think the radiography sounds like a really exciting field. Um, and hopefully you get more and more radiographers. Are there, is there a shortage of radiographers in the country? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. a resounding yes. yes. So we need more radiographers. Yes, especially, yes. especially in ultrasound. So there's a, a, a national mm -hmm. shortage of sonographers uh, UK-wide, and that's on the government's uh, list of, uh, of shortage professions. So yeah, we definitely need more radiographers. Brilliant. Thank you so much, everybody. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.